Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Mums and Melanin. My name's Takoni. My name's Tukumbo. I'm Ayola. And I'm Debbie. Before we go any further, please press the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers, so show us some love yes. and subscribe. Um, today, we're talking about parents' evening, what to say, mm -hmm. what does it feel like being that, in that, that parent in that seat where they're telling you all this stuff about your kids that you don't even, probably you don't even know, or mm -hmm. you know, and... You know, you're just like, okay, mm. oh, you're doing that school. <laughs> oh, you're talking in class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because I've had a few parents evenings in my journey of parenting. And um, initially, I'm just like, I'm just waiting to hear the feedback. Okay, how is she? Like, I know how my child is at home, mm. but how is she in school? Is she learning well? Like all of this mm. stuff. So um, I was very silent. And I was just letting them talk and tell me, and I'm just nodding and smiling and okay, okay. But then they'll be like, do you have any questions? And I would always be like, oh no, no, no questions. But then I started thinking, what? How can I not be asking questions about my own child? Like, because mm. after the fact, I would go home and I would be asking her questions. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so what do you do in this? But really, that's the opportunity for you to ask the questions because mm -hmm. your child will only tell you so much that yeah. you remember. Mm -hmm. So I started asking questions, guys. And if you know me, you know I like to ask questions. I put my investigator hat on, and then before you even ask me, do I have any questions? I've already interrupted you once. Okay, so for example, when they say um, how they're doing in in class, they go for usually do like maths, science, English, whatever, and they break down the topics depending on the age of the child. Mm. So I would ask, okay what can I do now to advance her to the next level? Mm. Um, what options does she have? Like, what what um, equipment are you using that I can use at home? Mm. What um, resources are you pulling from? So like BBC Bite Sites, are you, um, they have different sites that they use. How do I access that at home? And um, what's your method of teaching? So I ask these questions because we learn from a different era mm. and how we were taught is not how our children are being taught mm. so i realized that when i would sit with um kiana i would be teaching her one way but it's like i'm teaching her from scratch mm. but did you say you were learning this in school mm. that i'm deep and actually they're teaching them a different way mm. yeah so things like phonics we weren't i don't remember doing phonics in mm. in primary school mm. I, I think there probably was a different way or they did a different, it wasn't called phonics, it was around the back, same thing, different mm -hmm. packaging, whatever. But how they do it now, I, I was unfamiliar with. So I had to teach myself, then teach her. Mm. But because that's what they're doing, that's mm. what I had to learn, that's what mm. I adapted myself to do. Yeah. And uh, when it came to parents even, I was able to say, okay, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. What can I do to mirror what you're doing so that we get the best result from mm. my child? Mm. These were questions that I would ask or, um, like if for example with isaiah it was he learns well he's a sponge he absorbs information great like the teacher said they would adapt the learning to something he likes so it'd be sonic related yes it's still sonic and um i'll be like okay perfect so um but he, he talks a lot okay what do you do to curb that so in that situation she was asking me mm -hmm. okay what what did you do at home? Because we had just come back from lockdown and she was like, he's learning so much better now. Like, it worked so well for him. What were you doing in terms of the talking? I was just like, I don't know. I just give him the eye. <laughs> so I, I was like, okay, what do you think would help with that? And she was like, okay, maybe I can tell him that I'll give mum a call. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. So when she did it, she was like, no, it works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Isaiah, I don't think you would like to give me to give mum a call. And he was like, no. And then he started his work. Wow. So I'm like, okay. That parents' evening is an opportunity to speak to the teacher mm. and formulate a plan that will benefit your child in the best way. Mm. It's not just a chance for you to sit down and hear, oh, yeah, they did this, they did that, they did this, they did that, and go away and you're not doing anything with the information. It's a chance for you to meet the teacher, learn how they are as a person or as a teacher and how they interact with your child and how you can build a relationship with them to better your child. Mm. That, so when you're going into it, have that mindset. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's my experience, in my opinion, anyway. That, yeah. I don't know. Have you guys had parents' evenings yet at all? But I, I actually have. I have. And it was really cute. I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of many, innit? Um, and so when we went, we were in like a little room. Makai wasn't there though. But, you know, the, 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 the his key worker was just explaining, you know, Makai, blah, blah. And a lot of the things she said about him was correct. Mm -hmm. But then she was also like, you know, he's, he knows how to um, count to 10. And I'm looking at like, 
baby's been counting to like 50 mm -hmm. from like last year. Do you know what I mean? So in my head, I was a bit like, okay, so what you're doing, my son's obviously, he's obviously doing it at home, fine. So I can't expect you to do beyond what your curriculum and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But once for me, just it kind of just made me, I just, it was an opportunity, sorry, for me to then tell her what he can do. Mm -hmm. So at least like, if you want to push the boat out, know that he's actually there already. So you can still challenge him where he already is. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't, children get bored so quickly. Mm -hmm. Generally people get bored when they're not being challenged anyways. Yeah. So like you say, it's an opportunity to give the key worker a chance to kind of see what he has been doing that maybe she hasn't seen. So she can also work on that area. Mm -hmm. Cause otherwise they get lazy. If, so if, I, mm -hmm. if I, if I let it go at home, then he's just going to literally come to 10 and forget all of what he's been learning. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it, I told I told her about things I do at home, flashcards, all of this, like the old toys. Because now he's putting like three words, three letter words together, and spelling and all the rest of it. And I think it's much beyond what they do in nursery, in that nursery. Yeah. But obviously, it's yeah. very dependent. I think, I think generally they yeah. follow That's the just curriculum. yeah. So they expect you to be able to count to ten. Yeah. But you know, some people, some key workers, when they take an interest in your child, they'll just go that bit further. Mm -hmm. It's like potty training. If they just take an interest in your child, even though everyone has a different stage, they feel like you can do it, you can do it. They'll kind of like mm -hmm. edge that child on a bit. Yeah. So sometimes it's good to let them know, yeah, yeah like you said, where the child is, because it just pushes them a little bit to realise, oh, okay, if this child can do this much, why not mm. try and, do you know what I mean? Mm. So that's what I've had so far. But I like what you said about, that, even the questions that you're asking, I like what you said about working with the teacher to, to make the best out of your child. Mm. But then it depends on the teacher. Because obviously it casts me back <laughs> to my parents' day, parents' evenings. Mm. And some were great and some were teachers who genuinely want to see you succeed. Yeah. And some, those teachers were just, it's not, they don't want to be teachers. So everybody's upset. But then, even then, but I guess you take what you've what you've experienced mm -hmm. with what you're going through now. So even back to my like parents' evenings, there were some teachers. But in all fairness, I have to take accountability. I was a terror to some of these teachers. One in particular, my English teacher, I I terrorized her because she was just rude. And I just anyway. Fine. Mm -hmm. So when it came to parents' evening. I expected to get she's rude, she doesn't listen in the class, and blah blah blah. Mm. But the, the the that's that's not the point. All mm. of that matters. Like, that's what I'm matters. saying. Yeah. The point is, is, she, is am I delivering? Am my I academic. am I reaching my my capabilities? Yeah. Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Mm. If the answer is yes, let's focus on that. Yes, we can. The the behaviour and the mannerism matter as well because there's no point in being extremely smart if you do not have personable skills as well. So, for in the first instance, if you tell me my child is misbehaving, blah blah, okay, can we just pin that for a second? Are they are they achieving? Are they yeah. achieving what they're supposed to be? Yes, you know, very smart, blah blah blah. Great. Okay, cool. Behavior. I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z at home to make sure that this and this is done in school. Yeah, if you can, you know, have the open line of communication with me. Whereas, like, and I would, ideally, your child be there as well, isn't it? Yeah. You let so they know that this is what's gonna happen. The teacher's going to tell me if you're misbehaving. Misbehaving means that you're not going to have Sonic or you're not going to go mm -hmm. out with your friend like you want to. So then, so you know that there's consequences to your actions, right? So that's, again, formulating a plan with that teacher because parents' evening, is, it's always been so, like, daunting, like, the big yeah. parents' yeah. evening. Oh, my mum's going to know that I was telling the teacher to shut up or something. <laughs> Whatever it may be. But the reality is you're at school to learn, to get an education, Part of that, yes, because a lot of schools have these values and ethos of behaviour and um, respect, and I'm here for it. But the main point of education is to get that, um, that you know, the knowledge that they're supposed to give you, math, mm -hmm. English, science, whatever the case may be. And after the fact, to build, like, you know, respectable young people so that when they leave and to go into wider society, they have the um, necessary skills they need to do that. But... In the first instance, yeah, let's 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 focus on our focus and tell me about how they're doing in book wise. Mm. Yeah, we can talk about you know behavior wise because it could just be that my child doesn't like you or you don't like my child. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind we're all still people. Yes, you have a job to do, mm -hmm. but you're still a person with characteristics, and my child is still a person captured. If my yeah. child doesn't like you, but they're very smart, it may just be that okay, let's the option of putting them into a different class. It's not ideal, but if it means that my child is going to work to their best ability, then I'll, I'll yeah. probably do that. Yeah. That's not and this is why I said it was really good, the, the, the way you navigate parents' evening, because when, I don't know, I'm, I, hope I, I don't know if I speak for all of us, mm -hmm. but I think I do when I say that. When parents, when the teacher starts saying she talks too much or she's rude, the conversation just goes all the way down about behaviour. Yeah. And it was never really about 
where where are the gaps here? What's causing the issues? It's more like you're talking in class. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they're rolling their eyes. You already know that. Should I get in the passenger seat? Should I sit at the back? <laughs> you're planning your escape. It's all a bit crazy. Yeah. And then, you know, and even that teacher back then, they knew it was a power tool. Fact. They know that if I play this card, they know the, the type of ethnic, yeah. ethnicities that will, yeah. that will, that will hear that and automatically, they've they got the parent on side. Yeah. They'll even smirk. Exactly, because they know. <laughs> so it's like, it, it didn't really, it wasn't in our best benefit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, but thankfully, we're all kind of a bit more clued up. Yeah. We know questions to ask. We know yeah. what's the main goal here. It's about my child, right? Okay, how do we all work together to make yeah. this child right? Because it is everybody's responsibility. Yeah. Before, there wasn't much of that. So I do think like that's what caused the stigma. Do you know what I mean? With parents evening and, and stuff like that. I think we do need to be more involved and asking. Yeah. Now these questions you're asking now, I'm sure there's a lot of parents who kind of just, they, they take it as an opportunity to listen to the teacher, not yeah. to ask questions. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's good that you mentioned about um, learning the tools that they use in class mm. to do use at home because even the language even like i was doing uh, maths with sienna hundred tens and units what we used mm. to call is hundred tens and ones even something soft like oh, that wow. is like it's a, it's a difference isn't it mm. even the way they do the multiplication putting it in boxes and all these diagrams that you're drawing i don't mm. i really you don't do that you know like yeah. that so it's um it's important to kind of like take those tools from school mm -hmm. and apply them out. Yeah. It's really good to ask, like we're saying in, in parents even. But yeah. us, when, well, for me, when I was younger, hmm, my mum didn't really ask questions about no. tools. In there. She asked about what I can do to help her learning at home. No. Like, it's not that like she was negligent or anything like that. It just wasn't, yeah. it's just wasn't, I guess it was just something that they just didn't do. Now we yeah. have knowledge about yeah. how that can impact the learning yeah. of the child, how that can improve, you know, yeah. their social skills, educational, maths, mm -hmm. English, whatever. Um, it's really important that we, and I think that yeah. as well, it helps like with picking up with things like um, learning disability, so like mm -hmm. dyslexia and things that before, like I know so many, well, let me not say I know so many people, I've heard of so many people that haven't been diagnosed until later on in life mm -hmm. because they didn't know when they were in school, they just thought they were slow or they, mm -hmm. they just read slower or they, yeah. it took them a while to process information. But actually, had you have asked the questions and, you know, like being a bit more aware, mm -hmm these things could have been detected a lot. Yeah. 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 But it's funny what you're saying about language that they use in the, in the mm. class because I've had to adapt to that as well. Because yeah. like I was saying about the phonics, they'll be talking about Fred talking mm. and blend. And I'm like, what is a Fred talk? They'll be saying now um, with words like um, shop, it's got special friends. Special friends is SH because they always they stay together. together. Wow. So then you Fred talk it, shop up. Yeah. That's Fred talking, then yeah. you blend, shop. Yeah. So they'll be like, because Fred talk, blend it together. Mm -hmm. And I was, I would be like, shop, oh, shop. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> but then, or they'll be like, they'll have the phonics, they'll be like, um, what is it? Like, sliver down the snake. That's how you draw S, sliver down the snake. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like, right S. He'll be like, mm -hmm. what, do you mean sliver down the snake? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know, like, oh. But I've had to now. Yeah. So when I say to him, okay, like special friends, he'd be like, shh, SH, shop. And like, even me too, I'm like, yeah, like, me too, I'm learning your. Uh, and yeah. you know, like, mm. if that's the way they're learning now, yeah. fine, me too, I'm learning. Yeah. So you can learn and everybody's doing great. Do you know what I mean? I do think that's good because it takes me back to. When I was growing up, my dad used to buy um, CGP, like mm -hmm. exercise books from W.A. Smith, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, the way my dad and my mom would have learned back in Nigeria, where, which is where they come from, the way they do their equations is completely different to how they do school. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting down with my dad in the evening, and he's just like, you take this, you carry over, you add it, you add it, you minus, you, you take the back. And I'm just like, say what? Like, where are we going with this? But if he, or if they had maybe spoken to the teachers, mm -hmm. Then I'll be using one formula. When you're using three or four, my mum now has a different one as well. Her one's like, no, 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 don't worry about that one. Put X and put something. And I'm just like, yo. The thing is, it all comes back to the same thing. They're all yeah. right. But the thing is, when different, having different equations, yeah. what's confusing on one hand, but on another hand, I found that there was times I'll find my mum's or my dad's formula easier mm -hmm. than one at school. Yeah. So then I, that, was, that was helping me. That was what helped me. Sorry, I can't get my words out. And there was times my dad be like, don't worry, when you get there, just use this formula. This is your magic. And I used to go there, I feel really good thinking, I'm be like, yo, yo, I, I got a little tip, you know, you know, because you feel good that you have another way. But I do think it's key, like, you know, because I've, I've, I've heard about blending. We do blending myself, me and Makaya, but Fred, 
Friendship. It's still new to me, but it, it is important to have because, like you said, you're speaking a different language otherwise. Mm-hmm. So, even a snake, I'd be looking at him. Like, Makai still says, when he's drawing draw M, his dad actually talks to him. When he's drawing draw M, he's like, up the mountain, down yeah. the mountain, yeah, up the mountain. He's, he, maybe mean. the guy even knows about Fred, and no one told me. <laughs> no one told me in the house about Fred. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Like, parents' evening is always going to be one of those. Actually, no, let me not even say that. Parents' evening is your opportunity. Mm. Parents' evening is your time to shine. It's a, for the parents, I agree. Mm. Anything you want to know, as the, the term goes on, be noting it down. If you have any questions, when you see your child doing their homework and you yourself are looking and like, oh, this doesn't really make sense. How do I help them with this? Or you see them struggling, mm. note it down. Because there's parents even like every term, right? Mm. Mid or end of every term. Mm. Note it down. So that when you go into the parents' evening, you're well equipped. Like you, you yeah. like you're ready to have the conversation and you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not like just oblivious to what's going on. Yeah. Have an, an active part in your child's education. It's very important. Mm. For me, anyway, like I, I believe it's very, very important, and um, yeah, like just use it as take that t- time to just get the answers you need. Mm. Literally, like that's how I prepare for me. No, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Wow, you guys have provided a lot of perspective on this topic. Um, <laughs> what are you having? <laughs> this is very talk show host. Anyway, guys, <laughs> if you have any um, tips or tricks or anything that you do at parents' evening that you'd like to share. Um, please let us know in the comments mm. and um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram tiktok <laughs> and we'll see you later bye, bye. bye.